Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Only By Me. Presenting up the MCQs, NCERT based MCQs from the chapter Reproductive Health, which will be very useful for the students for NEET, CET, KVPY, Olympiad, and this will also help the students from HSC, CBSC, ICSC, and the ITCSC. So, in this sequence, we are starting up with the MCQs from the chapter Reproductive Health, the first one, 1 to 10, and it includes the exemplar questions first and this will be followed by many more extra MCQs for your practice. So please do follow the entire series and do check with the playlist for many more videos and the other chapters as well. Question number one. The method of directly injecting a sperm into the ovum in assisted reproductive technology is called as DASH. A. Gift B. Zift C. ICSI D. ET And the correct answer for this question is C. Prince ICSI is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. It is one of the techniques of assisted reproductive technology that helps the couples to overcome their infertility. In ICSI, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, the sperm is directly injected into the ova in vitro to form the zygote and then the embryo formed is later implanted through zift into the woman, that is zygote intrafallopian transfer. So, the method of directly injecting the sperm into the ovum in assisted reproductive technology is ICSI, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Question number two Increased IMR and decreased MMR in a population will dash A. Cause a rapid increase in the growth rate, B. Result in a decline in the growth rate. C. Not cause a significant change in the growth rate. D. Result in an explosive population. And the correct answer for this question is C. It won't cause a significant change in the growth rate. Now let us understand what exactly do we mean by IMR and MMR for the students who really don't know it. Please remember IMR refers to infant mortality rate. And MMR refers to maternal mortality rate or ratio. And both of these undoubtedly influence the population. And let us understand the option A. Okay, a ratio of maternal deaths per 1 lakh born over the same period is expressed as maternal mortality ratio that is MMR. And the number of infants killed that is per thousand births of the children below a year of age one year of age I mean, it is expressed as infant mortality rate. And both IMR and MMR are inversely proportional to the rate of development. Therefore, this can't be the answer. So, A is ruled out. Right? Now, the option B is result in a decline in the growth rate. Now, IMR and MMR, as I said, are inversely proportional. So, if we consider one of them, then there will be no change in the growth rate of the population. So this is also an incorrect answer. Now option C, increased IMR, infant mortality rate and decreased maternal mortality ratio in a population will not cause any significant change in the growth rate as they are inversely proportional. So this is the right answer. Now considering the option D, Increased infant mortality rate and decreased maternal mortality ratio in the population will not result in an explosive population. So the correct answer for this question is C. Question number 3. Intensely lactating mothers do not generally conceive due to DASH. A. Suppression of gonadotropins, B. Hypersecretion of gonadotropins, C. Suppression of gametic transport, D. Suppression of fertilization. 
And the correct answer for this question is A. So intensely lactating mothers do not generally conceive due to the suppression of gonadotropins. Friends, presence of prolactin hormone in the blood of the lactating that is nursing mothers, it suppresses the release of gonadotropins, namely FSH and LH from the pituitary. Now you know that gonadotropins, that is FSH and LH, are required for the ovulation to occur. So in the absence of FSH and LH, ovum is not released and hence chances of fertilization are nil up to six months following parturition if the mother is regularly breastfeeding. Thus, intensely lactating mothers do not generally conceive. Question number four. Sterilization techniques are generally foolproof methods of contraception with least side effects. Yet, this is the last option for couples because dash. A. It is, I mean, first, it is almost irreversible. Second, of the misconception that it will reduce the sexual urge. Third, it is a surgical procedure. Fourth, of lack of sufficient facilities in many parts of the country. Choose the correct option. A. 1 and 3. B. 2 and 3. C. 2 and 4. D. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And the correct answer for this question is D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Friends, sterilization techniques are surgical procedures. You have heard of vasectomy in the males and tubectomy in the females. Now, when the fallopian tubes are cut and tied, it prevents the gamete transport. That's tubectomy. Even though it is very effective, it is often used as a last option by most couples. Because it is almost irreversible and also there are misconceptions like the absence of ejaculation, the reduced sexual urge and also because it is a surgical procedure so there is a certain risk of infection, right? And also in a sad to say that in our country there are lack of sufficient facilities like lack of hygiene, we are like lack of qualified personals in many parts of the interiors of our country. Question number five, a national level approach to building up a reproductively healthy society was taken up in our country in dash. A, the 1950s, B, the 1960s, C, the 1980s, D, the 1990s. And the correct answer for this question is A, 1950s. The national level approach towards building a reproductively healthy society. It started with family planning programs. They were launched in 1951. Over the last six decades, many other programs have been started. Like in 2000, national population policy was launched. And in 2005, National Rural Health Mission, that is NRHM, was launched with the aim of revamping the public health services in the rural areas. Janani Suraksha Yojana has also been launched, which includes conditional catch transfer. Other improved programs also initiated with the term of RCH, that is Reproductive Child Health Care. Launching a number of schemes will benefit only when people are aware of them and those working at the various stages of implementation are doing their work honestly and with right intention. Question number six. Emergency contraceptives are effective if used within BASH. A. 72 hours of coitus. B. 72 hours of ovulation. C. 72 hours of menstruation. D. 72 hours of implantation. And the correct answer for this question is A. 72 hours of coitus. Emergency contraceptives are effective if used within 72 hours of coitus. Now why? Because fertilization takes place after 24 to 48 hours of coitus. That is nothing but intercourse. And implantation takes place after 6 to 7 days. 
So if the morning after six pill of the contraceptive is taken after 72 hours, they are not as effective. Question number seven. Choose the right one among the statements given below. A. IUDs are generally inserted by the user herself. B. IUDs increase phagocytosis reaction in the uterus. C. IUDs suppress gametogenesis. D. IUDs one insert, once inserted may not be replaced. And the correct answer for this question is B. So IUDs increase phagocytosis reaction in the uterus. First thing that is option A is wrong because the IUDs, it is intrauterine devices, are to be inserted by qualified medical professionals. Second thing, IUDs definitely increase phagocytosis and that's the right answer. Now option C, IUDs have no effect on gametogenesis because ovulation takes place in the ovary while IUD has to be located or has to be placed at the junction of fallopian tubes and the uterus. So its insertion causes phagocytosis and that makes the sperms non-motile. And the fourth option that is D is also wrong because IUDs can be easily taken out. Question number 8. Following statements are given regarding MTP. Choose the correct options given below. First, MTPs are generally advised during first trimester. Second, MTPs are used as a contraceptive method. Third, MTPs are always surgical. Fourth, MTPs require the assistance of qualified medical personnel. And your options are A, 2 and 3, B, 1 and 3, C, 1 and 4, D, 1 and 2. And the correct answer for this question is C, 1 and 4. MTPs are generally advised during first trimester and MTPs require the assistance of qualified medical personnel. Friends, voluntary termination of pregnancy before the full term is MTP, that is medical termination of pregnancy. It is less riskier during the first trimester, yani up to 12th week, and it requires assistance of qualified medical personnel. It can also be induced using chemical drugs. That's the reason the third statement that says they are always surgical is not really a correct statement. Now you might have heard about mifepristone plus prostaglandins are the examples of the chemical drugs that can be used to induce MUTPs. And these drugs are taken only in the supervision of qualified medical personnel. Question number 9. From the sexually transmitted diseases mentioned below, identify the one which does not specifically affect the sex organs. A. Syphilis B. AIDS C. Gonorrhea D. Genital warts And the correct answer for this question is B. AIDS AIDS is caused by HIV which is a retrovirus we know and it affects the T helper lymphocytes by infecting them. There is generally a long time lag between infection and the occurrence of symptoms which we call it as a window period or the incubation time. Now because of the reduced number of the T helper cells, the person becomes susceptible to infectious microbes that otherwise wouldn't have caused any disease. That is we cause them as opportunistic uh, infections. A major example of such an opportunistic infection is tuberculosis. So, the correct answer here is B, that is AIDS. Question number 10. Condoms are one of the most popular contraceptives because of the following reasons. A. These are effective barriers for insemination. B. They do not interfere with coital act. C. These help in reducing the risk of STDs or the sexually transmitted diseases. D. All of the above. And the correct answer for this question is D, all of the above. So condoms are the most popular contraceptives because 
They are not only effective barriers for insemination, but they interfere. They do not interfere with the coital act, and they help in reducing the risk of sexually transmitted diseases. Friends, I'm sure the series will help you. Please follow the entire series, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and start studying. Thank you.